Hey guys, welcome back to the Supercars Off Season, and today I'm going to talk about Will Brown at Triple Eight and what number he's going to get. Because this, this, I've been asking myself this question for months since he got announced. He's not going to be running number 97. Is he going to be number Triple Eight? Which I don't think he will. But but then I was thinking about it today when Craig Lowndes retired. They said, oh. Triple Eight's a really special number. We're going to retire that number. We're not going to use it again. It's only going to be on his car. So he wore it. He had it at Bathurst in 2019 and 20 with Jamie Winkup. And in 21, they ran 88 in honour of Jamie. 22, Winkup handed over the 88 to Feeney, saying pretty much it's just a number. Who cares? Now Will Brown's going to jump in and they don't have a number for him. So he's either going to be Triple Eight. And, you know, pretty much so many people have driven number Triple Eight as well. Uh, another few points is... Feeney ran Triple Eight in 2021 and Super Two. Van Gisbergen ran Triple Eight at Bathurst in 2021. Lowndes has had Triple Eight in the Super Cheap Wildcards uh, in uh, 22 and 23. Because he's going to get that wildcard in 24 and 25, possibly. What's the point in giving him in giving Brown Triple Eight? My thoughts are Feeney goes to number 93 because that's, that's his special number and so brown gets 88 my other point is that will brown doesn't have a special number in his history like the numbers that he's run have been numbers that he's had in supercars he's either been number nine which i'm pretty sure he was number nine in karting then in tcr he was number 38 when he was with eggleston and then number nine when he was with erebus and number triple nine when he was in the image car in uh 2020 Triple Eight aren't going to give him a number nine. Uh, aren't going to give him a number triple nine because it'll be like he's just still at Erebus. He's either running Triple Eight, which you can't really do, or he's running eighty eight or possibly eighty nine. But I'm not sure if that's something that they're going to want to do. It'll be up to what Will Brown wants to do. Maybe he has a special number that he likes. I think even in the E series he ran number n- number triple nine, and he was nineteen. 19- he was number nine when he replaced Dave Reynolds. God, there's so much foreshadowing in the in that series. He's either number 89, which would be a cool looking thing. 89 is not a number that's been run in supercars for a long, long time. You know, it could be 88 and 89. That'd be an interesting thing for the Wing Cup era. I've seen it on Wikipedia. I haven't actually seen any articles about it that Matt Stone Racing are considering changing their numbers. They've run 35 for a long time, but that's because the Super 2 numbers used to be... You couldn't have the same numbers as what's in the main game. So that's why you used to see um, Chaz Mostert and Cameron Waters running number 56. That's what it used to be like until 2016. Um, They were able to run number 5 and number 6, which is what they did with Gary Jacobson and Jack LeBrock at Tickford. With MSR having number 35... That's been important, and they just had number 34 because they bought a wreck from Gary Rogers to expand to two cars. So they were carrying on that tradition by having the number 34 on the car. So I don't understand why they would want to get rid of that unless they have a sponsor coming in, and that sponsor would want certain numbers. So you could do that, but I think teams are usually pretty picky with their numbers. And a racing number is a pretty important thing because that's what you're going to see when you see the car going around on the track. And it's important for radio as well. And having that consistency across a number of years just makes it a little bit easier for the race director and for anyone who's on the radio in the in the pits. I don't see why they would change those numbers. And then I see that um, there's a TBA on Wikipedia for Jackson Evans. Why would that change? It's number four. That was just the number that they put on Jack Smith's car in 2019 when he did the wild card at Tasmania. And since then, he's been number four. Anybody else who's jumped in that car, Jack Perkins, David Wall, Jackson Evans, it's always been the number four. So unless Jackson Evans has got a special number, I don't see why why that would change. Triple Eight have got themselves in their own pickle by having numbers associated with drivers, except with Wink Up. It didn't change, they just went, oh, we don't care. You know, Craig Lowndes wasn't the first guy to run Triple Eight, but he ran it for such a long time, and it's it's like the team name number, so it's they have it associated with Lowndes for a reason. And Van Giersbergen ran Triple Eight because otherwise it wasn't going to get run. And they were running number 39 in the super cheap car in honour of Russell Engel because 
that was the number that he had chosen to run. He had that when he was with Super Cheap uh, at Paul Morris. And it's about time someone ran number one. I'm so sick of everyone saying that they've got a special a special number and that it means so much to them. Just, put a, just drive a number. It's going to mean something if you get results for that team. Brock Feeney, did he have number 93 when he was at Tickford? I don't think he did. I think he had number five. And so it didn't matter. And it's not like Tickford or Picky. Zach Best ran number 78 for ages. It, it's just that Brock Feeney didn't really care that much. Number 93 was what he ran in the E-Series. And I saw uh, Kai Allen was umming and ahhing about using number 26 in Super 2, despite the fact that he'd be a reigning champion. I thought it was stupid because I think he should run number 1, because how many people get the opportunity to run number 1? And how many people in Super 2 get the chance to, not, to run number 1? The last returning champion was Gary Jacobson in 2017, and he ran number 1. Nobody else had that chance. Paul Dumbrell ran it when he came back in 2015. He had number 1. It does happen, but it doesn't happen that often. And in the main game, even less so, the last time was when Jamie Winkup ran it in 2018. And before then, it was Van Giersbergen. And Van Giersbergen didn't have it, and you know, he wanted to run his 97, and that's all we've ever seen. So this year, it should have been number one, and last year, it should have been number one on Van Giersbergen's car, but it wasn't. And Scott McLaughlin wanted to keep number 17 because it's Dick Johnson's number. It's interesting because Dick Johnson Racing did this whole thing where they had a big number one and a little number seven and a little number eight on their cars in 2011 because James Courtney had taken the number one to Holden Racing Team. It's just interesting the way the attitudes of certain times. But I guess Scott McLaughlin wanted to run number 17 again because that's just what he wanted to do. I think Barry Ryan said, no, he's got to run number one. Of course he does. How many times do you get to do that? And um, I love the carryover, the the historical relevance of having number one and number nine because when I was little, that's what it was like with Marcus Ambrose and the number one and Russell Ingall and the number nine in uh, 2004 and 2005. That was really special, seeing that. So we're going to see that again in 2024. And uh, I hope there's lots of uh, pictures and throwbacks to that sort of stuff. Um, and another thing about uh, the special numbers, like Anton Di Pasquale is running number 11, and so that's been important for him. But he's also run number 100 a couple of times. He ran it at Bathurst in 2022, and he ran it He ran it at Bathurst in 22 and in 21 because of the different things that were going on. So it was interesting that that was, that was something that was happening. But he chose number 11 and... That's because that's the number he ran in 2014 when he won the Formula Renault Championship. And so they did a little ceremony thing because number 11 is typically associated with Larry Perkins. So they did a little handover thing. It was very nice. It's interesting. I think there's been a few articles about stuff like that, but I haven't seen any articles about Will Brown and what number he's running at Triple Eight. I think it's number 89, number Triple Eight, or 88. Unless he's not going to run number 97 again because that's Shane Van Giersbergen's number. And he's run that for such a long time and had so much success with it. that, And it's a special number. It's not related to the team. He ran that at Techno as well. So we're going to see some interesting things uh, in terms of numbers for 2024. Um, and also uh, another note, Lee Holdsworth ran number 10 at Groves in 2022. And... That was the same number that Matt Payne ran uh, in Super 2 as well. He ran number 10. So that number was sort of special for that year for Groves. It wasn't a particularly special number, but you just rarely saw a number 10 on a, on a supercar. Anyway, that's the end of my little bit about numbers.